Hi friends, I hope all of you are doing well. Today, I'm so excited to get to share with you and to read with you. Today, we're gonna to be talking about a new concept in reading, and we're gonna be working on learning the five W's. The five W's are just five question words that help us as we read a book to organize our thoughts and to make sure that by the end of the story, we're able to explain the important parts and keep track of what happened in the book. And so I'm first going to introduce each of these five W's, these five question words that will help you as you read. The very first five W word is who. Whenever you read a book, you want to be able to explain who the story is about. That just means who are the characters? The second question word after who is where. Where means the setting. Where did the story happen? Where did it take place? So first we ask ourselves, who is in the story? Then we ask, where did the story happen? Our next question word is when. When means when did this story take place? Sometimes we read books that are nonfiction. Nonfiction books mean real true stories, and sometimes they could be about something like someone's life. In that type of book, we often have dates where this, when the story takes place, where it tells us that maybe Harriet Tubman, for example, lived in the 1800s, and it gives us the when, the time that it happened. Other times, it might not give us a date because it's a fiction story. And instead, when we think about when it happened, we could talk about the season that it happened, if it happened in the summer or in the winter. The when could be if it happened during the daytime or the nighttime. So, so far we have who is the story about? Where did the story happen? When did the story happen? And now our fourth question word is what? This one's probably the most important because you should be able to explain what happened in the story. That just means to give a summary, to be able to explain in your own words the most important details of the story. When you give a summary and explain what happened, you wanna make sure to include the problem, what went wrong in the story, and then also the solution, how the problem was solved and the different steps the character took to solve that. We have, who was the story about? Where did the story happen? When did the story happen? What happened? And then our last question word, our last of the five W's is why. Why means, why do you think the author wrote this story? Authors have to work very, very hard to write books. And so they definitely have a purpose for it. So after you read the book, you're gonna be thinking to yourself, why did the author choose to write this? Was it to teach me a lesson? Was it to entertain me and make me laugh? Was it to help me understand more about a specific place or person that lived in the past? And so those five W's help you to understand and keep track as you're reading. Today, I'm going to be reading a story to you. And at the end, I'm gonna show you how to just pick out the five W's. So even as I read now, I'm going to be thinking to myself, who is this book about? Where does the story happen? When did it happen? What happened in the book? And lastly, why? Why did the author write it? Today's book is called Salt in His Shoes. It is the true story of Michael Jordan. And it's the subtitle is Michael Jordan in Pursuit of a Dream. And maybe some of you have heard of Michael Jordan. He was a phenomenal basketball player. Enjoy this story. Michael loved to play basketball. Every Saturday, he followed his brothers, Larry and Ronnie, to the park, hoping that they would let him, him play. And if one of the guys who usually played with them didn't show, they always did. But there was one problem, and his name was Mark. He was the tallest boy on the court. What's the matter, Mikey? Too short? 
Mark flapped his arms in Michael's face. Over here, shouted Larry. But when Michael threw the ball, Mark's long arms came out of nowhere and knocked the ball away. It flew into the hands of a player on Mark's team. He made the basket and the game was over. Just like that. I'm really sorry, guys. If I were taller, that wouldn't have happened. All the way home, Michael apologized, even though no one was mad at him. His older brother, Ronnie, tried to cheer him up. Look, little brother, you played good today. Don't worry, we'll win next time. When they got home, Michael went into the kitchen where Mama was cooking dinner. He was still disappointed, and she could tell. You guys lost again today, huh? Michael nodded. He sat quietly for a minute, then said, Mama, how can I grow taller? Now, Mama knew the answer to a lot of questions, but this was a tough one. She thought for a moment as she sprinkled salt and pepper on chicken. Then she smiled, looked at Michael and said, salt. Salt? Michael looked at his mama. Salt in your shoes. We'll put salt in your shoes and say a prayer every night. Before you know it, You'll be taller, she replied. Salt in my shoes, Michael said quietly to himself. Surely Mama was teasing. He sat, staring out the window, trying to figure out how salt was going to help him grow. He noticed the rose bushes outside in Mama's garden. They had grown high along the fence and roses of all colors were blooming on the vines. He thought to himself, I remember when Mama first planted those bushes. Michael's face lit up. If Mama knows how to make those rose bushes grow taller, then maybe she's right. Maybe salt in my shoes really will help me grow. Okay, I wanna take a quick pause and I want you to think to yourself, who is the story about so far? Turn and talk to a family member or think to yourself who the characters are. And if you think you know where the story is happening so far, tell them that also.